The Laird Thames Crossing project is a nationally significant infrastructure project, otherwise known as NSIPs. NSIPs are projects that benefit the whole country. In our case, we're building the longest road tunnel in the UK. It will reduce congestion at the Dartford Crossing and it will almost double road capacity crossing the Thames east of London. And what does this mean for you? It will make your journey easier and more reliable. And crucially, in these uncertain times, it will create jobs and boost economy either side of the river. Before we can start construction, NSIPs are required to apply for a development consent order, otherwise known as a DCO. Think of it as such as applying to your local council for an extension to your house. Only in our case, due to the scale and complexity of the scheme, we apply to an independent examining authority, known as the Planning Inspectorate, who are appointed on behalf of the government to examine our application. All the years of consultations, investigations and planning have led to help inform the DCO application. At the end of the day, the decision to grant the DCO is made by government, and if we're successful, it will allow us to start construction. This film has been made to help inform you of the six stages of the DCO process. If you're watching to understand how to have your say, listen closely to the pre-examination and examination stages. First, there is the pre-application stage. This is the stage where we present our plans to you, local authorities and other organisations. Since 2013, we have been in consultation for over 270 days where we have shared our plans and asked you for your feedback. Almost 90,000 of you responded. We have used this feedback along with the results from our surveys and investigations to refine our design and develop our proposals. Once we submit the application, we begin the 28-day acceptance period. This doesn't mean the application has been approved, it's just the planning spectra is checking we've submitted all the relevant materials. There are over 200 documents we'll be submitting with our application. That includes the environmental statement and the consultation report. If accepted, we move into the pre-examination phase, which normally lasts around five months. This is when the planning inspectorate will appoint a panel of inspectors to examine our application and a first meeting will be held to discuss procedural issues and the timetable for examination. It is during this stage that we will notify you that you can register as an interested party. This will enable you to tell the examining authority your views on the project. Next is the examination phase. This is a six month period in which our proposals get examined by the examining authority. During this period, they will assess feedback from yourselves and other stakeholders on the proposals through written representations or public hearings. Anyone who registered in the pre-examination period can present their views, whether that be businesses, members of government or you, the public. Following the end of the six-month examination period, we move into the recommendation and decision phase. The examining authority have three months to write a recommendation to the government. The government then have three months to make a decision whether to grant our DCO application. If successful, we'll then start building the Lurtons Crossing. At the end of the process, there is a six-week window which allows anyone with legal grounds to challenge the government's decision. This is known as a judicial review. If you'd like to see where we are in the process or how to access our application documents, please visit us at the Lurtons Crossing website or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much for watching.